Hey YouTubers and welcome back to another episode here on ESGN Net of MLB 17, the show. Road to the show with the Bonds and this is episode 179 as we are taking our last stand here at home as we have a six game homestand now with the Chicago White Sox and the Cleveland Indians. So we're going to have to see what we can do against them here in this game. And see if we can somehow try to keep ourselves alive here. And try, most importantly, if we can win these six games in a row. Try to take the divisional uh, title. So, we'll see what we can do here. As you take a look there at the American League games and games back. Right now, we're just six games out of first place. So, if we can sweep this series against the White Sox. And then do the impossible by sweeping three games against Cleveland. With Cleveland le uh, losing these uh, three games before we head to, on to them, we could have a good chance here to leapfrog them at some point. Really, I think in the, this series here where we're playing right now with Chicago, if they can win the, lose their series against, I think it's against the Royals, um, then we may have a shot here. At, uh, you know, if we can have them lose at least one or maybe three, really two, and we can sweep this series against the White Sox here. As you see, this action right here is Bonds tries to get in there, but that is going to be a sacrifice there as he will get an RBI for that effort. So we'll see his next at bat here. And no, oh, he has swapped this one good and deep, and it is not coming back. That's a home run there for him, as that is a solo. Shot there for Bonds as that is home run number 112 now for him as that's just a beautiful shot there. And that's what they need from him for the remainder of this series. They are really ready for this whole episode here. They need for him to step up and hit long shots there. Or not just long shots, but just, just some good triples or doubles there. Uh, especially he has runners on board there. And he can do some damage. Uh, he, you know, he can really s gather up some RBIs quickly. So we'll see now. It's 3-3 here in the bottom of the fifth. And we'll see Bonds up again here. And this one gets past the third baseman as he cannot make a play. And that'll be a base hit there for Bonds now on this one. So, so far here, so far so good as uh, Bonds now we will go ahead and we'll see what he can do here in the sixth inning. As this one hits up the middle there, no problem there for that one. As that's going to be a great base hit. And that is going to bring in now two runs there for them as he gets that base hit. So now Miguel Cabrera over 3. And he flies out there in the fifth inning. We'll see what he can do here in this at bat. As again, we just got to try to play some good baseball, solid baseball here. Um, you know, preferably some station, station baseball. And also, we just got to have a really good uh, bullpen. As we'll go ahead and see here, we got a pretty good lead now. And we'll see here, Bond's going to go ahead and take off here. And he wants to try to help extend it here. As the ball gets away from the catcher, and they're going to just keep, keep Bonds in check there. He's gonna, he steals to second. So now, Sean McClure now coming up to the bat here. We'll see as he has uh, two runners on board. Of course, Bond's there at third. And... And we'll see what McClure can do. McClure's going to hit this one. That is going to drop in to shallow right field. That's going to be a base hit. And now we have runners again in scoring position at first and second. So now it's a 10-3 ball game now here. Cleveland just uh, really doing a good, or I should say not Cleveland, Detroit now. Really doing a good job here cleaning up here as they'll hit this one. And that's going to be another home run there for Bonds. Home run number 113 now for him. And the Tigers of Detroit now have this ball game locked down. It's now it's eleven to three ball game. What a game here! Hopefully, they leave some uh, more hits and more home runs in that bat here, and not use it, all of it up here over the course of the of this one game. But we'll see their White Sox uh, get uh, get a thra good thrashing on them as the uh, Tigers will now win this one. Uh, 11 to 3. Nice job there on that. As we'll go ahead and see the Tigers here coming out in the field celebrating here. And of course, that's one game down, five more to go. If we want to try to run a, the perfect sweep here 
and of course uh, get ourselves in um, you know in the playoffs but you know like I said we gotta also to figure that you know we gotta put in the fact that we gotta have the Indians lose you know a game or two there to really get some momentum because if they win games just as long as you know just as much as we are uh, winning six games straight we'll, well we'll pretty much be in the same spot that we're uh, we start this episode of Alpha on. Um, I believe we'll scout the top spot there for the wild card. So we'll see what we can do now in game two. It's, uh, it's going to be a runner on first there. And Bonds, well, that one drops in front of him there. But the runner will go ahead and steal there to second and helping out Bonds there, putting a runner on board or a runner in scoring position now. As he has an 0 1 count here. And we'll see the pitch here. And this one's going to be ripped right down the third base line. Nice shot there. Runner will come around from second to home to score. And that will be an RBI double there for Bonds. So now Miguel Cabrera now come up to bat here. We'll see what he can do. As uh, again, he has now a runner in scoring position. As Bonds goes to third. And we'll see this one as this ball goes high and deep to left field. Bonds thinking about taking off here. He is going to go ahead and do so here. And. Oh, runner gets the tag, or does not get tagged there, but the catcher uh, drops the ball there. It could have been an easy tag and been an easy out, but uh, they, they go ahead and go for it. As now it's a 5-5 ball game. Bonds up to bat here in that one. Uh, change up, no good there. As that one is going to be strike number one. We'll see now next pitch here, and we'll see this one hits right up the middle there or right through uh, the hot corner there, and that will be a base hit for Bonds. As uh, Miguel Cabrera will be coming to bat. There you see the hits leaders right now. Bonds getting close to 300 hits now for the season. Andrew played today. He's got 291 for himself. So, sacrifice fly, a walk, and RBI course for Cabrera. As we'll see what he can do now here with a 2 2 count with two outs. And Bonds go ahead and hit this one high and deep. This is going to go back, and this is going to get caught there by this left, right, yeah, right fielder there. We'll see now. Next at bat here, Bonds trying to run this one out here, and he does not. He gets beaten by a half a step there. Tough. Eighth inning. We'll see now. It's a six uh, nine ball game, leading by three now. And Bonds finds a gap out there. He brings in another run here. Now making now 10 at six. And the Tigers have control of this ball game here. Nice job there as he gets the RBI. So now 10-6 here, 2-2 uh, count now on the next batter. And this one's going to be a shot going down the first baseline here. Bond's going to come around to score from second. Nice job. And that is going to be a great job there for the Tigers here. Again, putting up numbers here today and trying to make sure that they stay alive in this one. As we'll see, they end up winning game number two. Uh, and they'll win this one. Or uh, excuse me, uh, yeah, they'll end up win. Uh, yeah, we'll win this one, 13 to six. There is your final score. Bonds three for five in the ball game, uh, two RBIs, two runs, and two doubles here in this game, as he helps out with that victory here today. Nice job indeed from the ball club here. And now we'll just try to see what we can do here in the final game with these White Sox this season, as we'll get to game number three here in just a bit. But you see his numbers there for so far here. As he, uh, well, has a pr excellent day there at the park. Now we're trying to see if we can have the same thing here in game number three. So game three now, we'll see Max Suzer here on the hill today as he will be the pitcher. And, of course, you know, days when we have Suzer is not good days. But we'll see if this will be something different here. Hopefully Suzer will have pitch a great game here. As we'll see, Bonds now comes up the bat here. He gets his first check in here in the game. As we'll see what he'll be able to do as it's a 2 nothing ball game here Detroit trailing Bonds hits this one here and he gets underneath this one and this one will not go out of the ballpark here as that's going to be a fly ball there to the center fielder there and great play there from him as he's able to hold on to that one and get the out so now Bonds here Swifts, uh, whiffs on that one there I think I said Swifts but whiffs on that one and that one is going to be a strikeout now next at bat here bonds again up to bat here we'll see this one is just gonna be uh yeah long fly ball there 
as that one is going to retire him in that at bat. Now Bonds over three. He flied out back in the fifth. We'll see here in the seventh what he'll be able to do. As we'll see here, this one is going to be, oh, geez, grounded right to the shortstop. And, then, of course, an easy play there to get the easy out. So, as we'll take a look here and see, we are able to make the sweep there as we win the third and final game of this series. Final score, 9-6 to six there is your final score as the Tigers put up a nice uh uh, put some nice runs up on the board here. Almost uh, through all three games, almost double digits except for this last one. Uh, but we'll see here that uh, Bonds over four in the game. Yeah, he's had a tough go there, but he goes over four in that ball game, and it's averaged now at 4:33. So there you see them celebrating here in the game. Okay, so one part of the uh, equation is well. Well, halfway there, as uh, we were able to sweep the series here against the White Sox. Now, we have to get the second part. Well, actually, the second and third part. Second and third part, of course. Well, we need... Okay, never mind. It looks like that they have clinched the division. So, we're still stuck at six games, which mathematically we cannot win. So, even if we win these next three games here against Cleveland... Well, it's not going to help us because they've already got the division. So now we're just playing for, well, just try to stay alive for the wall card. And, of course, uh, some bragging rights here if we can do some damage here to the Indians. So Indians here will be on the hill here today as they have Danny Sazar to pitch here. We'll see what he can do here against Bonds. Bonds chips this one right there in front of the plate. And this one's going to get a base hit here as they just decide not to fool with him and Put him him on board. So Bonds gets on board here. Now I go to the second inning here. Three nothing ball game here. Bonds rips this one over to right field here. That's gonna battle around. That is gonna also bring in a run as he gets an RBI double. And now we have runners at second and third. So now we go to the fifth inning here. Bonds two for two, single and an RBI. We'll see if he can continue this here. Is go to the next at bat is. He's up by, they're up by three here. This one gets hit up the middle there. That is going to be another base hit, and that's going to be a sweet, sweet job there of getting on board here and maybe hopefully getting a rally going for themselves. As we'll see Miguel Cabrera here, and uh, we'll see what he can do as he has now Bonds there. And, of course, Bonds maybe possibly stealing. He's going to go ahead and go. Bonds is going to go ahead and slide, and Bonds is, of course, in there in time. So nice job there. As you see here, injury play today. He's got uh, 66 uh, stolen bases now. And we'll see here. This is going to be high and deep. That, oh, actually, no, high and shallow. And it's going to come down quick there. As that's going to be an RBI there for Cabrera. And he brings uh, Bonds on board. Brings Bonds home. It's a 6 4 now, or 6 uh, 2 now. Bonds here gets a base hit here. He's going to get on board once again. And the Indians here well, look like they're a little wobbly right now. A little struggling here a bit. And we'll see what Miguel Cabrera now can do as he's on board here. And we'll see if he can bring home Bonds here. Again, uh, you know, good hit, base hit here. He can score from first to home real quick. As Bonds go ahead and takes off here to still second. That one, he's going to go around here. He's going to go to third, and he's going to slide, and he's there safely at third as he pulls out an extra base there on that one as they cannot make the tag there. So, Bonds will be at third base here as Scooter Jeanette's up to bat. 2-1 count, and this is going to be high and deep. This is going to be back. This is going to hopefully stay fair, and that does. Home run there from Scooter Jeanette there. Two-run shot for the Tigers. And the Tigers now lead this one here today as they'll take a look here and hopefully they'll replay that as it's a six run ball game for the Tigers as you take a look there it's his second uh, second 20 second home run of the season so now ninth inning here we'll see what the Indians can do here try to fight back in this one here and we'll see what kind of efforts they have going on here I'll try to get this one. Of course, you know, they have the division, so they you know they can lose this game if they wanted to. Eight to two now. 
And the bases are uh, empty. Full count. And we'll see here again. Another play is try to get on base there. Where you trying to use that bunt move there. But Bonds gets uh, that one by bare arm. That one to first and getting me out. So that's it for the first game of this series. As the Tigers win this one 8-2. to two Is your final score. And man, what a game. It was there, and now we just need to see if we can do the same thing here coming up in this uh, ne these next two games. As uh, of course, you know, we're st you know we still have something to fight for. We still have the wild card, uh, even though that's something that we just didn't really want to have this year. Our goal was really to, you know, to be divisional champions here, and unfortunately, we're not going to be that this year. But we still have a shot here as we try to keep our playoff hopes alive. Try to get a wild card spot. And of course, if we can get that wall car spot, then we're you know our goal, uh, just like any goal for the for any major league baseball team, is to bring home the World Series trophy. As you take a look at his career stats here, right now, and we'll see here the uh, fans there at Comerica Park. And there's a late game here. See what we can do here against Cleveland and try to bring another victory here, uh, even though it wouldn't really matter to us. Um, for elite, because you know, for for at least for the division, but we you know we need, like I said, victories for the wall card. As you see there, they cannot make a play there, and Bond's going to be safe there on the play. So nice single there for him as he gets on board against Norman. So we'll see the next batter here. Of course, Scoojanet up the bat here, and you see his numbers there as he's kind of struggled here some, and we'll see uh, we'll see what he can actually do. As uh, Bonds at first, and got a runner at third, and Bonds gonna go ahead and take off here. He's gonna steal, and he slides there, feet first, no problem there on that one. As he steals another base. As you take a look at the team stats there for stolen bases, and of course uh, we're up there in the top five. As we'll see here, this is gonna be a swing and a miss there. Uh, tough, tough shot there for. Uh, uh, for uh, Bonds and Bonds again sw swings and misses there on that one as he gets set down on that play and of course uh, that's going to be really irritating now for him and his ball club is go to the 8th inning see it's a uh, game now for Detroit or yeah for uh, Cleveland now here is, uh, Detroit is really struggling and this is just going to be a high fly ball there as we were down by eight in this one. And so, can we? Uh, no, unfortunately, no, we cannot. We can't get a late uh, inning rally going for ourselves to help us out. Uh, but we end up getting a, a dub or a L there on us. And that is going to be game two of this series. So, game two of the series, final score nine to one. Bonds, one for four in the ball game. Had a stolen base and, of course, a strikeout in his effort. But, of course, you know, getting that W would really help us out, especially as we're going on right now to get one of those two uh, playoff spots. Should take a look there as uh, his numbers as we get done with game two. And now try to see if we can uh, try to get the series win here by getting game number three between these two ball clubs here as you take a look at the wall car and there you see the Royals and Rays right there yeah they're just got the exact identical record here and we'll see if we can try to get a victory here and just keep ourselves alive as uh, if we get a victory here we'll, we'll have one of those two spots there for sure so we go to the first inning now and Bonds gets a uh, drop third strike there, and he will get taken out there as he gets thrown out there at first base. So next at bat here, it's a 1-2 count, and this is going to be a dribbler. Nice play there from the fellow third baseman. Get Bonds out on that one, and that's going to retire him on that play. So Bonds, uh, over two now. And he struck out back in the fourth. We'll see what he can do now here again in the sixth inning. As we will go ahead, and that one is going to be a dribbler there to the third baseman. And, of course, he throws Bonds out there. No problem 
uh, with that play at all. Bases are loaded here for Bonds. He has a great opportunity to really bring home some RBIs here in this one. As one, two runs will now come in here. Three possibly here. If he can chug along there, yes, he does. So it's a base, three bases clearing triple there for him. As now Miguel Cabrera now coming to bat. And we'll see what Miguel can do now here. As Bonds has really helped out his ball club here in this situation. Here. They're still down by three. And we'll see a full count here as uh, that one is going to be hit hard there to the second baseman. And, of course, going to get to the uh, first baseman for the easy out. So, unfortunately, we're unable to win this series as we lose this series two games to one. And we end up losing this game seven to three. Tough, tough uh, loss there for us in this ball club. And now the question is... <sighs> Do we even have a spot in the um, wild card? Because we lost two straight now, and you know the other two teams are, you know, are gunning for one of those spots there. And we'll try to see here. And it says, "Oh, congratulations!" When they shows our record there. Oh, okay. So we are going to be playing against. Oh, great. We're going to be playing against the Royals now. The Royals we have not been playing too well against. And that may become a serious issue. So, there you see the pitching matchup there for this one game and one game only for the wild card. The winner of this moves on to the divisional round and they'll face the Cleveland Indians. Talk about frustrating, you guys. So, as we move along here in this series, we're going to get right into the playoffs in the next episode, you guys. I'll show all the awards that uh, Bonds uh, has, has taken. Of course, he's took several. And also, we'll get into that one game playoff there. If we make it in that one game, we may show uh, some of the divisional series, but we may. Just depends on how that game goes. And um, other than that, we'll either just wrap up the season there. So we'll see how things go for Bonds and the Tigers here. Here we go. Playoffs. We're in the playoffs now. But can we lock in an a actual spot? Can we get a spot there? And maybe take and get a chance here, really, to take on the Cleveland Indians and now play against them when it actually really matters. Now, uh, I'm not saying the other times didn't matter, but this one really matters. Everything's on the table, so we'll see how that goes here coming up in the next episode. If you guys enjoyed today's episode of Road the Show here on ESGN Net of Theo Bonds, leave a like. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you have not yet subscribed. Follow us on social media on, on Twitter, Facebook, Tumblr, and Discord, check us out there for the latest news and events on what's going on here on the channel and what is going on in the world of sports gaming in general. Thank you guys again so much for watching. And as always, keep yourselves together healthy, and I will see you guys next time.